Don't go by the book. Think like a pirate. People often ask me what I do for research and where I find my information and how I got my experience. I by no means am an expert, but after my third boat and after Pirate Booty and uh, almost two years of restoration on Herb, I'm getting a lot better. Um, I always like to make a diagram of what I do. So I know, and for example, this is electrical, I have one for plumbing. I have one for, um, uh, what else? I think, uh, well, maybe that's it right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry for the rigging. So this is big, um, 11 by 17. I get these at, uh, I think it was CompuServe or someplace anyway. But, um, I, I'm a drawing person, so I need to see what I do. So what I kind of envision and I have done now is these are LEDs, my cabin and port lights. Uh, starboard lights, all our LEDs. I have from my switch panel here. Oh, sorry, where is it at? Okay, I'm actually backwards. I'm sorry. So from my switch panel here, actually my batteries are back here now. I'm going to move those inside because they require a lot, lot more maintenance. I figured out after a year of those sitting out, they dry out, and hence your boat won't start and your batteries drain. So at this point I have heavy gauge cables going back to my house battery and my starter battery which I have separated. Um, Yanmar motor up here, etc, etc. So you see my macerator, my water tank, kitchen sinks, etc, etc. So I think it's a great idea to label everything. And this is the switch diagram I put out. I mean this is, you can find almost any website that does restoration. but. Still good. Now, if I could recommend any books, the first one you need to get is this. Nigel has everything from A to Z on boats. I'm not kidding. If you look at the index, the tables, the I, this is my Bible because it goes over everything. Right now, this is what I'm fighting. Balanced battery, because that's that's something you never see. Troubleshooting the battery power, electrical circuits, corrosion, battery charges, wind inverters, generators. I'm getting into that right now. Big one I'm working on right now, diesel engines. Okay, so I could go on and on about this book, but it is your Bible. I think now third edition I bought. The second edition is almost exactly like it. I bought the third. I found that out. Now here gave me a lot of other inspiration because this tells you how these guys do it from how to do chain plates and backup plates to how you rig your boats how you lay out your boats and as you can see i've got these tabs I actually read this crap you know battery boxes etc so this is exactly what it says from a bare hull so there you go, how to get that book. Now, on Practical Sailor is a website that I use. I think it was like $30 a year. It's actually very good. They give you a lot of other good videos that show you uh, inspirational things, how people are building boats, how they did their vacations, etc. So at this one, this is my wind generator and solar energy. Very good, actually. I think you get these for like five bucks. They actually rate everything. Here's the five best, you know, wind generators. And they go over a couple things. Like, you're, you know, it's like a consumer reports. They give good charts, uh, this kind of stuff. So I, I subscribe to Practical Sailor. Very good. Now, plumbing. Oh, baby, yeah. Get rid of boat odors. I really don't have that right now because I'm not using it. And I sucked all that crap out of that macerator. That is a memory I'm going to need therapy on. That's that for two years. Imagine 10,000 baby diapers. Yeah, but I digress. Uh, actually, it looks kind of cute, but it does a good job because it tells you what not to throw down those things, what kind of sanitation hoses to use, 
Where is the source of your odors? You know, uh, toilet paper. Yeah, you just can't flush anything down there. How to add fresh water. You know, she gives good manufacturers and everything you know about what you have in your boat. I highly recommend this little, I think I've got this off of Amazon, again, by Peggy Hall. Now, as everybody knows, I'm a treasure hunter. That's what the whole reason I got into this. So I'm not going to lie to you, tell you I'm out there just to see the sunset. Once I get this running, I'm going to be looking out there for Spanish treasure. And everybody will always tell you the dream books, West Marine and Boat US. All jokes aside, keep inspired because if you don't read and you don't think about vacations and you don't YouTube and see these things, you're going to walk into this and go, crap, that's all money and a waste of time and you get frustrated. I learned that the hard way. I was out nights and days and I didn't have any inspiration. If you don't go out to here and see, oh, I don't know, show me something. You know, fishing, people, what, do you, what can you do, you know? Um, it is, you've got to keep inspired. Because if you don't, what is a dream about but inspiration? And as I told everybody about, absolutely. Yeah, right now I'm fixing this boat and I've been around the Florida Keys a little bit, but that's not where I'm stopping. Bahamas, baby, that's my goal. The next fiscal year, I want to do Key West to get that further trial run, and I want to go to the Bahamas, cross that Gulf Stream. Then that's another goal of mine. And I'm not going to lie to you, they get a West Marine card and a tow boat USA. I haven't used them. I hope I never have to, but it's sure nice to know. And Lord knows, people, we can dream. You know, everything in here I want. I get the catalog. Why? Again, inspiration. If you don't remember the fun things, believe it or not, the most I've spent on my sailboat on any one piece was lumber. And even that was $30 a sheet, $80 a sheet. Now, paint. Yeah, that gets you a little bit because that gel coat is uh, $40 a quart. Fiberglass, by the gallon, about 100 bucks. You know, we can talk about that later. Um, but if you're having a fiberglass, a whole lot of stuff, you really need to look at the boat you bought. I cannot stress enough, I did this mistake the first time. There was rotted wood here and rotted wood in here, and I just gutted it and found out later I was not a carpenter. The reason you see me rebuild and just kind of cut out and slice part of these out is because I'd have to rent all of these out. I'd have to rip all that out. I took on that old boat about a week to chisel this out in the floor. I had a bare hull. Now, that might sound good, but don't start from a junk boat. Start from fresh wood. If you really that gung-ho, baby, go after fresh wood. There's a lot of uh, the 26-foot tiki, etc. Now, we'll talk later about websites, but this is what I read and where I get my experience. Again, your Bible, if I can recommend one book to buy. YouTube is great, but you get 500 different ways to tell you how to do this or that. This guy knows his stuff. Now later, we're gonna talk about tools, but for right now, I got my planning, I'm moving on, I'm shaking. Well, that's all, folks.